summoning the Egyptian gods in Master Duel ranked. Can the gods take over Master Duel? Here we go! Wow! What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Zamrex. When you're happy, Wednesday. Today we're summoning Obelisk, Slide for the Sky Dragon, and Wing Dragon are all, all in one video on Master Duel Rank today. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, and shout out to the winners from yesterday's video. You will be receiving a $50 gift card for whatever system you play on to get gems. So congratulations. If you are the winner, please send me a screenshot of the screen, your name, you know what I'm saying, to verify the winner. Tell me what system you play on. Anyways, congratulations. And today, like always, I'm always doing giveaways for Master Duel. I know Master Duel is expensive. I'd love to give back to you guys as much as I possibly can. So today, another giveaway. All you guys got to do is be subscribed to the channel. We're almost at 500k subs. You guys are crazy. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on the notification bell, and leave a comment on which three of the God cards is your favorite and why. All right, guys, I know all you guys watch the original anime. I know a lot of you love Obelisk, Cypher, and Raw. Let me know which one you love in the comments below and why. And guys, quick, to celebrate the gods in today's video. Get your God Among Us playmats today in the link down below at TX1.com. Only available for today only. Get your God Among Us playmats today. This mat is... One of my most beautiful play mats I ever had on my channel. I have a limited quantity left, so today is the only day you guys can get it. Make sure you guys get it today. Hit the link down below at TX1.com and join the gods among us. All right, guys, pretty much it. Let's hop on to Master Duel and send these weaklings to the Shadow Realm. Oh. All right, guys, here we go. We're on season two now, guys. Season two. We're starting off with gold. This is gold four, right? Or gold five. I'm, I'm, I'm not good at my Roman numerals. But here we go, guys. My god deck in action. Here we go. Let's time. Let's draw. It's time to duel. Oh, whoa. This hand is kind of fire. Uh, we can actually do a couple things here, guys. So basically, this deck, the way it works is it functions really well with the true name. And true name is absolutely phenomenal. If you had true name right here with this combo hand, it would have been absolutely insane. So we're going to be trying to play just Dark Magician. Simple Dark Magician for now. For the time being, okay? We're going to go Dark Magical Circle first. I think we should just change Soul Servant. And let's put the spell on top of our deck. He definitely has a maxi, for sure. We know now that 100,000% he has maxi. Chain Resolve, Soul Servant. Okay, cool. Uh, we are going to put right here, right now, Secrets of Dark Magic to the top of our deck. And obviously, Dark Magical Circle is going to reveal the top three cards in our deck. We got maxi, Obelisk, and also Secrets of Dark Magic. And of course, we are going to end, and we're going to actually... Yes, add the Secrets of Dark Magic directly from our deck to our hand. And then we get to stack the other two. Honestly, I kind of should have done it the other way. Maybe we just rods first uh, to search for Eternal Soul. And then kind of, you know, Soul Servant, Dark Magical Circle. So that way that we can potentially see what cards we draw off the fusion. So I kind of misplayed there. I don't know what Magician's Rod activate Rod's effect. Okay, cool. I'm going to activate Rod's effect. If he has Effect Builder, we can change Secrets of Dark Magic. So we can actually make Dark Magicians, which is absolutely insane. Uh, regardless, we still get to draw off Soul Servant, which is really, really nice. So he does have a response. It's probably a maxi. And uh, we are going to basically add Eternal Soul directly from our deck to our hand. And we do have Punishment and also Eternal Soul Access right here, which is really, really good. Uh, but I think the best thing to do right now is probably just activate Secrets of Dark Magic right now. Because I kind of want to activate it on his turn. Okay, if I activate on his turn, he can chain maxi and then I have Eternal Soul. So he's going to potentially draw more. Uh, yeah, see, I told you guys right there. I called it. I, 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 I just need, I just needed to do it now. Just bait out the maxi now. It'll be way better than you know using it on his turn where you know my eternal souls is dead and potentially if my dark magician were to die, um, you know he'll just draw more cards off the maxi, right? So we obviously don't want that to happen. So fusion into dark magicians right here, which is really really good, really awesome card right here. We're gonna be drawing a lot of cards. Uh, now we can actually activate soul servant in the graveyard. To see what card we draw. Okay, Dark Magical Circle is just really good. We can also activate the Dark Magician's effect to draw one card. Maxi. <laughs> and now we just... Now, guys, we're just chilling. We're just chilling at this point. If we activate the spell, we get to draw more cards. Maxi's gonna help us draw cards. And we're just digging to find True Name right now. Okay, guys? And that's the whole point of this deck. True Name synergizes really well with Dark Magical Circle. You guys don't understand how good that is. You Dark Magical Circle, you stack your deck, and you activate True Name. Get access to Egyptian Gods. And your base is just going to win the entire duel right here, right? So, Queen Long, you can... Okay, blah, blah, blah. Sure, that's fine. And then we can activate the Dark Magicians. You get to draw a free card. And it's a trap card. We can set it, uh, which is really, really good. So, Virtual World, I don't really mind at all. Like, we can actually destroy uh, this deck right here. And especially with the maxi that we have 
he's probably just going to scoop. You know what I'm saying? So Gamma. Gamma on the Dark Magicians. We can chain Max either that. Wow. I'm I'm cool with that, to be honest. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. I am actually really cool with that. Okay, cool. So Gamma comes out. I think he needs this card to remain face up on the field. To resolve basically everything. So skill drain uh, is gonna trigger off. We can actually activate the Dark Magicians now. We can special it, of course. Uh Dark Magician and also Dark Magician Girl directly from our deck. So this is from our deck and also Dark Magician Girls from our deck. Let's put in defense mode. He he definitely needs this card on the field for sure. That's why he's activating it. And we're especially on Dark Magician going defense as well. And then we're also gonna activate Dark Magical Circle. And we are gonna banish that Queen Long right there. Virtual Quake. Yeah, yep. Cool, that's fine. And then we can trigger off our Magician's Rods effect. We can actually tribute the Dark Magician. Let's tribute the Dark Magician girl. And we basically get to add Magician's Rod from our graveyard to her hand. So that's our disruption done, but now he has to face through a maxi. So good luck and also punishment. So that's fine. I'm I'm cool, I'm cool with this. So I'm pretty sure I, I think the best thing he can do is just pass his turn. I don't think there's anything else he can possibly do. Magician's Rod is so good. Uh, Combling off with Dark Magical Circle and Magician's Rod is going to be absolutely insane. So um, punishment. Okay, yep, I, I told you. He's 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 going to go Lily. Okay. Uh, that's fine. He's going to keep special hunting. So Maxi's really good, right? And the good thing about Virtual World is that they cannot beat 100,000%. They, 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 they can't beat like a spell or trap in the game, uh, which is kind of a problem on their end, right? So he's special that. He's going to be able to send another card to the graveyard. And then we get to draw more cards, which is really, really good. So I don't think he can beat up a, a, a punishment. So, ooh, Soul Crossing. Let me think. He's going to go banish the Queen Long. Okay, he's going to search this card right here. You can search a Virtual World card directly from deck to hand. I think on resolution of the search, I, I can actually chain the punish the punishment to destroy these two cards. So he has no more cards uh, left to summon the Lulu, right? So that's definitely a, a good play for sure. And then next turn, I can actually just aggro it off which hopefully just drawing the Egyptian gods right here. We're drawing a bunch of cards with Circle, with Rod, with Soul Servant. Yes, so Quing Long is going to search the Lulu. On resolution of Lulu, I'm going to chain Dogmatic Punishment because he definitely has no more cards that can just stay face on the field to just summon any more virtual worlds, right? So he's just going to pass at this point. He's probably just going to scoop at this moment once I punishment him. You guys are about to see right here, right now. So, yep, so I told on resolution of Lulu, yes, I'm going to chain Dogmatic Punishment. Oh, resolution of that, yes. Chain Punishment. I'm going to select this card. And I'm going to send Entis to the grave. Yeah, he has one Lulu in hand. There's nothing else. Like, he, I don't think he can activate anything else. Then Entis to the grave. And then we trigger off Entis effect in the grave. To pop right here, the Lily. And then his turn should be pretty much over. Unless he goes Omega. He can go Omega to attack into my Dark Magician, sure. Uh, he's under the maxi, so we're pretty much lit. So yeah, we can't special from the extra deck, but it doesn't matter because we're trying to get out the gods anyways, right? So at this point, I'm pretty sure he's just going to scoop. Set one card. It's, if that's a chooch, it's oh, really, really bad for us. Chooche is, is pretty bad. So he's to banish everything else. No, there's no way. He has both chooch in the graveyard, right? So during the end phase, I'll activate Eternal Soul. We can revive back Dark Magician from the graveyard. Okay. Special Dark Magician. You can't use our extra deck, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. We need to draw a god right here, guys. We need to draw a god. Ooh, crackdown. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. First and foremost, we're going to go normal summon magician's rod. Activate rod's effect. Okay, we're going to add soul servant directly from our deck to our hand. Okay, this is the best card right here. Okay, cool. That's already one. So now what we're going to do is that we are actually going to activate our Soul Servant. Okay, cool. And we are going to basically stacking Magician Souls. Guys, we're trying to summon Obelisk right here, guys. We are going to stack Magician Souls to the top of our deck. Maybe that was a bad call because our Dark Magician and also Dark Magician Girl is in the graveyard. So I don't think we can dump anything else. Um, I think what we can do next is that we can actually activate Dark Magical Circle right now to, to know what we're stacking. Okay, let's see. What is his response, guys? What is his response? Oh, Obelisk! Let's go one, two, three. And now since we know what's in his graveyard, we can actually go Soul Servant. And then we can go Soul Crossing on his turn to summon Obelisk the Tormentor. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, what does this do? So 
During the main phase, me either distribute one Divine Beast monster. When you do, enter the battle phase. Let's attack with all of them. We know he has Lulu in hand. Attack. Attack for 16. Main phase two, I'm going to set... We're going to set Soul Crossing. And we're going to set a Crackdown. And we're going to end our turn. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to wait till he summons two monsters. Royal Decree. That is insanity, guys. End phase, Royal Decree. But guess what? Soul Crossing is a quick play spell. So we're lit. Wow, that's that's actually insane. We're just gonna wait till he has two monsters. So GG, cool. So Nian Yan, oh my god, this is gonna be so lit. And he has thing, so and then he's gonna go Lulu. Is he normal summon GG already, right? He can't do anything. Oof. Time to scoop it up! Soul Crossing! Let's go! Tribute these two cards. He has Lulu in hand. It is absolutely game. Obelisk the god is coming out. He's coming out, Soul Crossing! No, maybe I'm gonna tribute the rod. I'm gonna tribute the rod. Nope. You're a normal summon. Tribute one, one. Oh my god! Let's go! Obelisk the Tormentor! Yo, where's the animation, bro? Konami! Where's the animation? No animation. Yo, Val, roll that back. Obelisk the Tormentor! There you go. That's how the animation's supposed to be done. Yeah! Scoop it up! You just you just got defeated by a god. <laughs> you, just, you just got destroyed by a god, Alec. You just got destroyed by a god, Alec. Right now, here we go. We need Slifer. We're going in order, okay? Obelisk, Slifer, raw. Here we go. It's time to duel. Ooh, yes. Oh, this is this is not that bad. Oh, wow. Soul Crossing is three monsters. We need to tribute all ray for Slifer the Sky Dragon, and it's pretty much lit. This hand is good. I like this hand. I think I think it's pretty nice. Gildren Ice Dragon, even Soul Crossing. If this hand were to go first, we're pretty much lit, right? Set, ooh, set one back row. Ooh, two back row. We're playing against Elich. Ooh, okay. Set two passes. This is a GOAT format, or what's going on? Here we go. Ooh, punishment, baby. All right, you know what, guys? We're going to be humble as well. We're going to set... We're going to set one, set two, set three, set four. We're just going to pass our turn, baby. Honestly, guys, Slifer, I believe, is kind of like the weakest out of them all. I, I hate to say it, but it's like he's not really strong on its own. Like Obelisk, you can summon Obelisk and Skill Drain. He at least beats down your opponent. You know what I'm saying? Wing Dragon Raw, you summon him, you can actually OTK. But Slifer, I believe it takes a lot more setup, but it's still a god regardless. We're going to be trying to get a god out today. And it's going to be Slifer the Sky Dragon, okay? So, if he has three monsters, we can just go literally Soul Crossing and uh, Tribute the Three Monsters, Maxi. Maxi is so good, too. Necroface. Okay. Necroface. Okay. The Humble Necroface. Cool. 1,200, baby. Here we go. Nice. 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 Okay. Necroface. We need the true name right now. Draw. Draw. Ooh, Seekers of Dark Magic, guys. Honestly, I'm actually just breaking myself. Like, this is not looking the greatest. Uh, he needs he needs more monsters to feel. Like, can you just like can, can he just have more monsters to feel for me so we can just tribute for Slifer? And Maxi works with Slifer because Maxi draws cards. Slifer uh, needs you to have cards in hand for you to gain like you know the thousand attack, uh, which is really really good. So he needs something more monsters. Like three monsters would be really really good for me right now. We need just like Soul Crossing tribute for Slifer, two thousand attack at the moment. Not that bad. Soul Crossing is effect. What does it do? So during the main phase, until the end of the next turn after this card resolves, we can only activate one card or effect per turn. Okay, that's cool. We're just going to banish the top five cards of his deck. Oh, if this card is banished, each player. Okay. Okay, cool. Honestly, this is this is big damage, bro. This is this is pretty big damage. I can't even lie. Wow, this is pretty big damage, to be honest. He, need, he needs one more monster. Do I just keep... Guys, do I just keep Maxi in my hand? I, I need to draw like a like a... Like a like a like a magician's rod right now or like a some sort of way for me to get a monster on the field. I can just use soul cross soul sermon to just tribute these. Draw. 
Oh, call the haunted. Not that bad. Honestly, guys, I think the best bet right now is probably just set Maxi and just like. It's like, do, do I just hope for the best? Do I just set Maxi, guys? Okay, because like, what if he just to summon a monster, right? So let me just set Maxi. This is the. Yes, you never see me, anybody in their life set a Maxi, but. Yes, Team Samurai X1 just set a Maxi. Come on, here we go. Come on, Cypher. All right, guys, during the main phase, we, we can do something. If he has three monsters, it's pretty late. He can summon something else. He's probably playing some sort of Grand Manju strategy. And then we can have our Slifer at 2,000 attack. We'll just keep all the cards in our hand. Okay. Main phase. He's going to enter battle phase. Ooh, Gizmek. Oh, my God. This is going to be hype. Cool. I'll only tribute if he attempts to go to the battle phase. Summon Grand Manju. Oh, yes. He normal summons something. So while you're six or more cards, you can normal summon this card without tributing. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. Oh, he's going to enter the end. Okay, cool. So now... We are going to activate Soul, Cro uh, Soul Crossing. We're going to... No yes, we're going to tribute one... Slifer, baby. Here we go. Slifer! The Sky Dragon! Once he gives max, I'm going to go, of course, right here, Ice Dragon Prison, and we're pretty much lit. I can't believe I set the maxi. <laughs> kind of regret it now. Oh! Come on! You can't tribute a god! You can't tribute... You can't do that! That's illegal! Oh, you can't tribute a god! Damn it. I'll just destroy this. Resolve, yep. I'm gonna send. Can't tribute a god! We're gonna bring back Slifer and we're gonna win the duel with Slifer. Or what? Eater of Millions? Wow. It's a fiend, okay. Zombie effect. Turn change. You can't attack. Ooh, true name. Ah, oh my God, guys. This is... <sighs> Cannot be normal summoner set. Right, it gains a thousand attack for each face-up card banished. Ooh. Gizmak, huh? Okay. We basically have to set everything now, guys. Ah, oh, Eater Millions. You suck. Eater Millions, I can deal with. It, it's fine. We, we can deal with Eater Millions. A Grand Manju is, is going to be a problem right now. Let's go. Maybe we can go Call the Haunted. Bring back this Lifer. At least, it's at least 2,000, right? Oh, he's just like, enter battle phase. He's going to eat me down with Eater Millions. I'm going to wait till the Gizmak banishes, guys. Oh. Oh, Gizmak. Here we go. Summon the Gizmak. Resolve, Gizmak. Oh. Oh my god, this is so sick. I'll summon Gizmek. And then I'll banish a card. Yes, because this is a fiend. Big brain, baby. Big brain. Oh my god, that's, that, that felt so good. Holy smokes. Come on, guys. Let me draw a magical circle. And we can actually just ulti care up one right here. Dark magical circle, okay, guys? Dark magical circle. Dark magical circle, guys. Here we go. Magician's Rod, dark magical circle. We win the duel. Here we go. Come on. Let's, let's get two gods on the field. Let's go, guys. Let's get both gods on the field. Dark magical circle, please. Oh, oh, oh! This is the synergy I'm talking about, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to showcase you guys how powerful this is. Okay? Watch. 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 Watch and learn. Activate Dark Magical Circle, okay? Reveal the top three cards of our deck. Oh, my God. Rod. Rod, Punishment, Dark Magician, okay? So we know. Oh, my God. So, yes, we're going to add. Yes, we're going to add Dark Magician to our hand. And we are going to stack. We know exactly what to stack. We're going to stack this as one and this as two. All right? Now, guys, since we stacked the true name, declare one card name, ask me the top card of your deck, and if it's declared card, add it to your hand, then you can add to your hand or special one divine monster from your deck. You guys, you guys hear that? You, did you guys hear what I just said? So since we knew that it's a rod, we're just going to type in rod, select, and guess what? We're going to call it right. Oh, add it to our hand. Then guess what? Special one designate monster from the deck? Yes. Oh my god! We did it! Summon Obelisk the Tormentor! Oh my god, guys. Oh, you can't you can't do that to a god. You cannot you cannot bottle miss a god. I'm actually very disappointed. You just he just he just did that to a god. Like that's actually very disrespectful. But guess what? My god has two gods! Now, Slifer the Sky Dragon! Come on out! Ah! Yeah! Guess what? Two gods in one turn. Guess what? You think? You Guess what? I'm gonna flip the max. See? Enter the battle phase. Battle! 
Kismek! Attack! Three K to the face! Now, Maxi, five hundred to the face! Come on, I kind of wish Obelisk was here. Now, Cipher, three K to the face! Come on, Cipher! Now, Secrets of Dark Magic, Yugi, Yugi, let's go! Fusion summon the Dark Magicians. Boom! Select, select. Here we go! Here we go! Summon now. The Dark Magician, baby. You can't. You think you can be one god, but you can't be two gods. <laughs> Namzen. Namzen. Namzen! Here we go, guys. It's time to duel. Let's climb up the ranks in platinum. Here we go, guys. Gods! Is on our side. Draw. Audicide is really good. Torrential, Torrential Strike, Trap Trick is a really amazing, amazing hand going second. This is insane. Doesn't matter what he puts up right here. We're able to break any board our opponent tries to put up. And Guardian Slime is really insane. Because if you take battle or effect damage, you special in this card from your hand. During damage calculation, this card battles opponent monster. You make this card gains it. Defense equal to that opponent's monster attack during damage calculation only. We're facing against Lyrilus right here. It's going to be uh, an issue. But whatever board our opponent makes right here, we're just going to sit back, relax, set five, pass. That's all we're going to do today, ladies and gents, okay? All right, guys, here we go. Recital Starlin, baby. Here we go. Recital Starlin. Sure. Boom. Activate Recital. Cool. He hasn't normal yet, too, which is... Ooh, okay, recital. Activates effect. We're gonna search what? DD Crow? Definitely search DD Crow. Okay, search Cobalt. Okay. Celestial Wagtail, I mean. So, Birth Call. Wow, I kind of wish I had Maxi in my hand right here. Sapphire Swallow. Okay. Okay, special summon Sapphire Swallow in the fence. Activate Sapphire Swallow. You're gonna search Lyrilis. Spell a trap card directly from the deck. To the hand. He does have Nerval in his hand, I believe, right? He has Nerval in his hand, 100%. Of course, okay. Sapphire Swallow now activates effect. That's cool. That's cool. Cool. Another Wagtail. Another Recital Starling. This card needs to go to one. What's going on? Recital activates card's effect. He's going to make, of course, Utopic Future. That's fine. He does have bird call in hand. I'm not too sure what the other two cards are, but okay. He's going to search the Barrel Canary. Barrel Canary is cool. His graveyard is... Okay, he's in an overlay for Utopic. Utopic F-Zero. Utopic Future, okay, that comes out. All right, guys, here we go. He's going to go for Utopic Draco Future now. All right, here we go. The main boss is out. Very problematic card right here. So, okay. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Great. My torrential is great. Wow. Of course, manage how many? Manage two to summon, of course, which one? Baron Blossom. Okay, cool. Baron Blossom, Nerval into the Samorg. Because Samorg isn't banned in Master Duel just yet. Wow. And then Nerval will get to dump. Nice. Samorg, Burn of Sovereignty. That's fine. Cool. No, Norval gets a search, right? Norval is a searcher. Yeah, it searches. So just Fractal. Really, really broken. He has Fractal Bird called Barrel Canary and it's in his hand. Two unknown cards, I believe. Oh, Fractal. He's going to use it right now. He's going to dump Kit to the graveyard, I believe. Maybe Kit. He's dumping Kit to the grave. Oh, okay. Warbler. Barrel Canary. And he's going to summon, of course. Yeah, he's just having a combo robin with like five materials or four materials. That's cool with me. I'm cool with that. This is the end board, guys. So we can surprisingly break this. I have no issues breaking this right here. We just need to be very, very patient with how we go about on actually breaking this board with the hand that we have right now. Trench with Trench with Trench with Strike and Trap Strike is a really good hand to actually break this board right now. That's cool. He's going to attach everything. So Barrel Canary says this card gains 200 attack. Also cannot. Also, its control cannot switch. Okay, cool. Attach it. 
sets one card face down. Probably in permanence. So Morgan's gonna trigger off its effect. That's fine. Wow, it's the Morgan hand. Cool. I'm cool with this board. I can actually surprisingly break this board. Come on. Oh, wow. Yes, we are breaking this board. No matter what. We are breaking this board. Doesn't matter what happens. We are breaking this board. Good luck, man. Please summon something. Please. Please summon something. Misplay and summon something. Wow. Okay, cool. So Morg is going to trigger off its effect. Sure. Wagtail. Cool. Cobalt Sparrow is going to trigger off its effect. Nerval. Sure. Best play that he has to do is just enter battle phase and try to attack. And if he summons something, he loses. Wow. Bird call. That's that's fine. Okay. And he has Nerval in his hand. Sapphire Sparrow. And he's going to summon Spasa. He's going to summon a Sapphire. Wow. Never made it so much easier to just break this guy's board. I don't understand what's going on right now at this point. He just scooped to the Egyptian God deck right now. Avi on the gate. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm going to chain skill drain. Have a good time. Like, I don't understand. It's done. It's literally done. Like, I just broke his entire board. Literally, literally, literally. Have a good night. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Have a wonderful night, Mr. Weiss. Have a wonderful night. Have a great night. Have a great night. It, it's done. And Robin Robin sure, you can add whatever to your hand. Doesn't matter what he adds. We have OTK next turn. 100,000%. Sure, add Warbler. It's cool. We have OTK next turn. 100,000%. Warbler, it's fine. Cool. Negated. Okay, cool. Maybe I should have just torrential that, to be honest. Wow, he didn't attack. Okay, that's fine. Draw. Oh, reactor slime. That's fine. I just want Wobbler to attack me for 100, to be honest. I'm cool with Wobbler attacking me. I'm cool with Wobbler just attacking me. Wow. Trigger my gods! Please! Wow, he's just gonna set. Trigger my gods, please. Ooh, Crackdown. Okay, I'm cool with Crackdown. Okay, I'm gonna go Reactor Slime Normal Summon. Uh, you can tribute this card. Set one Metal Reflect Slime from your hand or deck to... Let's go to Battle Phase. Come on! Let me trigger its effect. I'm pretty sure... It still gets negated, right? Yeah, it, it, it gets negated still. Or maybe it's not because it's a cost of tribute and skill drain is... Yeah, it's no longer the field. Yeah, I can do... I can set the Reactor... Wow. Wow, this is insane. And then now, it, it can be activated this turn. Draw. Ring of Destruction. Okay. Wow. Okay, this is perfect. We need to go a little bit aggressive now. We can trigger, trigger Ring of Destruction very easily now. We're going to go Metal Reflex Slime. Any response to my better Metal Reflex Slime? Mr. Weiss. Okay, and now we're gonna tr summon Egyptian God Slime. Boom! Must be first either future special reaction act by tributing one level 10 Aquamons. Cannot can be treated as one to three tribute for tri of a monster. Okay, we obviously can't use it because Skill Drain's on the field, but what we can do is that we can go to Battle Phase, and now we can just beat him with the guns. Here we go. Come on, Egyptian God Slime. Let's, let's take this wise guy to the Shadow Realm. All right, guess look at that. Look at that. We're making Lyralist Tribrigate look like a fool right here with our God deck right here, guys. Can we just draw like Obelisk right now? That's definitely an infinite impermanence for sure. Or like I'm sort of... Sure. That's fine. We enter main phase two. Uh, we're going to set Ring of Destruction. Ring of Destruction is really important uh, because it does trigger Guardian Slime, which is absolutely insane, right? So... Whatever he tries to summon or anything like that, we can actually activate Ring of Destruction, pop your opponent's monster, and then trigger off Guardian Slime to summon itself to our side of the field, which is really good. And a huge shout out to Steven for giving me that in innovation. Like, he just, he figured that out. The best way to bring out Guardian Slime is with Ring of Destruction. Ring of Destruction synergizes really well, especially with Tramp Trick and just getting access to ways to deal damage to yourself so you can summon Guardian Slime. So many cool ways. And he's just going to keep setting. This is not, this is, this is not what I want. You know what I'm saying? He's going to keep setting at this point. Can we just draw? Oh, Crystal Girl. Let's normal summon Crystal Girl. We activate Crystal Girl's effect. Obviously, it'll get negated by Skill Dream. That's fine. We just want more bodies on the field at this point, right? 
So now what we're going to do is when you take effect damage, right? What I can do is I can just purposely crash to the monster. Uh, right here, Garden Slime, take a battle, effect damage, press on the cover of your hand. Okay, this is, that's absolutely perfect. So let's, let, like, you know what? If he's not going to do the dirty work, we have to do the dirty work ourselves. All right, guys, this Crystal Girl, let's attack into that monster. Please be higher than 200. Please be higher than 200. Like, just be higher than 200, please. Nerval? Let me attack into the Nerval. Let me attack into the Nerval. That's probably Nerval right there. Maybe I should... Oh, yes, thank you. Jesus, please. Yes, Guardian Slime Trigger. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year uh, from your boy. Okay. Okay, this one is going to attack this one. That's fine. And then next turn, we are going full full power. Absolute destruction. He has no chance. Wow, that's another normal. That's fine. He can search whatever he likes, okay? He can search whatever he, he, he wants. It doesn't matter. Main phase two, we can actually use to make another Egyptian God Slime. Here we go. And then... Whoa, let's go! Summon! Now, activate Guardian Slime! Slime, 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 slime. Gods are taking over. Nope. We're gonna search Ancient Chant directly from our deck to our hand. Okay, cool. And now... Uh, what we can do next is that we can... He has a response to any of our cards. Uh, we are gonna make Link Karibo. Yes, sir. Summon Link Karibo. Link Rebo, here we go, baby. And then we can go Link Rebo wants to secure Gardena. All right, next turn, guys, we're bringing out the Wing Dragon of Raw. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happens. We're bringing out the Wing Dragon of Raw. We're gonna OTK with the Wing Dragon of Raw, guys. We are gonna do it. Wow. Uh, nope. All right, let's see what this guy has in store for us. End phase. We are definitely gonna activate our um, trap trick. Get our, of course, heavy storm duster. Pop our own skill drain in another card, and then we're pretty much lit to go. And we're gonna go ham, ham, and ham, and Sam. We're gonna go strong, strong. All right, guys, here we go. Bird call. That's completely fine by me, to be honest. I'm cool with bird call. He's just gonna keep walling up. That's fine. He can keep walling up. That's cool with me. Cool. Barrel canary. That's fine. Barrel canary. Cool. Target recital starling. That's fine. Sure. Uh. This guy is taking forever. Sure. Nightingale, sure. That's fine. He's gonna try to attack into, of course, the Egyptian God Slime. That's three thousand damage gone. Let's go Ring of Destruction on this. Guys, I feel like this guy's gonna scoop. Oh my god. Sure. No roll, sure. Search Fractal, sure. No more Fractal, sure. I just wanna summon my Wing Dragon to Raw! Sure, please, kill my Skier Gardener. Yes. Yes. Envase. Let's set this one. We're gonna switch our own skill drain. Hold by the grave. Yep, Crystal Girl. Smart. All right, guys, here we go. Our gods are coming out now. All right, gods cannot be targeted. Your point cannot target, and your point cannot target with card effects. So imperm is out of the picture. Wow, reactor slime. We are pretty much lit. Okay, we're gonna activate our ancient chant. We're gonna add Wing Dragon to Raw. All right, guys, here we go. We can activate our ancient chant that's in the graveyard. All right, guys, here we go. It's time to duel, guys. It's time to duel. Oh my God! Here we go. The Winged Dragon of Raw tribute, tribute. Summon the God. Yeah! All right, guys, here we go. We're going to one-shot him right in here, right now. Okay. Now, battle face. We're going to go Wing Dragon of Raw into the Fractal. Unfortunately, it is not game, but we are prepared for this. Attack. Oh, you can pay 1,000 levels soon. Okay. Droplet.
He droplet a god? You can't droplet a god! You cannot droplet a god! That is not allowed! You cannot droplet a god! But guess what? I can also not sacrifice a god, but I will sacrifice a god to summon Gustav Max, baby. Here we go. I'm sorry, Ra, but you done your mission. Do, 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 do. Gustav, baby, activate. 2,000. Set 2,800. I'm gonna set one card face down, and we're gonna end our turn. Can this guy come back? Can he come back? Can he come back? Can he come back? We'll never give up because we are... Ooh, Warbler. Wow. Recital Starling. Wow. Pretty sure he has nothing else, right? Let me take control of that. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Have a good time. Thank you. And we got his Nightingale right here. End phase. Here we go, baby. Y'all got Reactor Slime right here. Ooh, Metal Reflector Slime. Huh. Uh, should we just card set one Metal Reflect Slime from a hand deck or graveyard? Let's activate Gustav Max's effect. Let's deal a humble. 2,000. Douche. Now, we need to finish it with a god. Uh, okay, also you can not special monster restore except for Divine Beast Monster. Nope, we're not going to use that. We're going to activate his card's effect. Oh, no. I, I, I didn't want that. I just wanted the tribute. During the battle phase. Okay, during the battle phase. See you, Wobbler. Have a good night. Gustav Max. Come on, baby. Pew. We did it, guys. That was epic. That was truly, truly phenomenal. And here is the deck list. If you guys are wondering, this is the first two deck lists in the first two duels. I 100% like this one better, especially if you're trying to play Obelisk and also Slifer the Sky Dragon. This deck is absolutely insane. And it's super fun to play because it's like a Yugi themed deck. You know what I'm saying? It's like Yugi, Dark Magicians, Kaiba. Kaiba did throw Yugi, the Obelisk. It's so, so fun. We got Dark Magicians, Magician Souls, and of course the two gods. It's basically a Dark Magician deck splashing with the gods and true name and like i said before guys true name synergizes really well with dark magical circle true name synergizes really well with soul servant right here because you get to know what a top card of your decks are this card stacks the top cards of your deck this card guarantees you to stack three cards to the top of your deck so you're always going to call it right with the true name good is really good because you can just beat it down with obelisk i believe obelisk is like the most easiest access one because you can just beat down your opponent with a 4k beat stick with skill drain uh, which is really nice soul crossing is just an additional touch you can distribute your opponent's monster to summon obelisk tormentor just to win games steals games a lot now this is the deck list that you guys saw for the third and final duel i believe this is the most competitive version of the deck right here uh, you guys can you guys don't have to play maxi no actually no you guys have to play maxi maxi literally wins you games to be honest i think this card is a standard three of in every every deck competitive or not maxi needs to be in your main deck for sure this would be my fixed deck list and how the deck works is super duper simple uh you want to inflict damage to yourself with ring of destruction so you can special summon guardian slime from your hand guardian slime turns to egyptian god slime egyptian and once you do that guardian slime get a search ancient chant so you get to search your wing dragon raw directly from your extra hand to one shot kill your opponent right and this is the perfect deck list i think like crackdown is really good to steal your opponent's monsters so you can easily tribute them for the wing dragon raw needs to be reflect slime all this is really good with reactor slime and i think like wing dragon raw support is better than all the supports out there but if you guys want to have more fun a hundred thousand percent this is the deck list that you want to go for you want to have more fun in my personal opinion so yeah guys it's pretty much it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoy smash that thumbs up button and i'm super excited for season two of master duel thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys enter the giveaway if you guys haven't joined the box breaks or got your limited edition play mats make sure you guys get it today in the link down below and remember guys give away every single master duel video all you guys gotta do is be subscribed to the channel like the video turn on notification bells and leave a comment on what your favorite god card is and why this is your boy sam from teaser sam signing out all right guys peace